Okay, so this was a very busy class. Um, we worked on painting and actually finalizing our um, obstacle course. Um, it was important to us to make like straight lines, make sure they all looked nice. Um, we made sure that we used it uh, for the width of it. We used six uh, inches all across of it so that in case if it doesn't go the right way, which it has not been, um, they'll actually still follow the path. Um, so this day took a lot of time and effort, so we were kind of busily doing our own things, of course working together on it, um, but I, I felt like having four people do this was, was more difficult because you could only start at one section and you can only have so many people in that little space. Um, so we did have um, a little issue there, like telling people what to do because a lot of the time like two or three people would be doing it one person would be standing the other person would come and they'd be standing um so it was a little difficult assigning roles for this um so but once we started like making the lines and we got further on into the obstacle course the person that didn't have anything to do at that point would um start painting it or start outlining it um which we of course needed to do um it was issue it was an issue finding a space to do this only because we had to leave it long enough to paint it um and for the paint to dry so we we did uh, paint as much as we could um but then the rest of it like most of it was all drawn out so we got um one of the group members to take it home to to paint like the big area so that because we couldn't just leave it on the ground so they could actually take it home and that part of it was going to take a long time to um to dry um so shout out to that um but yeah for this class we we didn't directly work with the sphero it was more just finalizing and making sure it looked good um and cutting off extra pieces of paper um, and gluing them on um and f uh, like f what we're thinking is that it might be an issue um of where to keep this paper um, just because it's kind of annoying having to bring it and take it every time especially because anytime we roll it it creases or anytime we fold it it starts to crease um, so hopefully that doesn't affect the way the sphero runs um, but yeah what we're doing right now is just getting um, rotating times of when you have to take it home um, so one person takes the paper home one take, person takes the sphero home and just it's important to bring it back so we can actually work on it um, but yeah one of the things i feel that when taking some this kind of project into um, a classroom it's important to make sure the design actually looks appealing because like for me even now like if someone just brought in like a piece of paper with drawings I, it, it wouldn't be appealing to try it out whereas where it has like obstacles and like it looks cool it, it's a lot more appealing especially for young people they're attracted to things that look funner or cooler um so i think it's important to do that uh, one thing i i have been um kind of questioning is the way the sphero runs with um a phone or a tablet i feel like instead of getting students to bring in their own tablets or, or smartphones or, or whatever the technology they're using is, it's important for teachers or educators to provide that source of means. Like for now, like we're all in, in this classroom, we're all pretty, like we have our own smartphones um, at this age, but at a young age, like some, some kids or some families are able to afford these things and some are not. And I feel like if a child was n wasn't able to afford it or their parents weren't allowing them to to bring it to school or whatever the case may be they don't have it um i feel like that would be very discouraging um so i think it's pretty it's pretty clear um it's very important for chill uh for educators to bring their own means um to control the sphero um and especially like not just being discouraged but um if one person had it in in the group um I feel like it would be very frustrating or like the way kids like I, I volunteer with kids as well and um, if one child has a cool toy like they think they're cool in front of everyone else and the other one uh, feels discouraged about it um, um, so yeah that's just one thing I, I think it's very important um, 
to do or to bring in when working with the sphere at, at such a young age especially and even at an older age um even like high school like i know i didn't get my first phone until i was 18 and all my friends had it um so i feel like if we brought this in and i didn't have my own phone and i couldn't do it myself i would be upset <laughs>